We're going to go down to Sharon Crowley, who's outside Gracie Mansion, with a look at what the mood is like there tonight. I've heard it's quiet. Is there anything going on right now, Sharon? Well, I wouldn't exactly call it quiet. There is a media frenzy outside here, outside the gates of Gracie Mansion, and we've seen a black SUV that is similar to the one that the mayor usually rides in, but I couldn't say for sure if he was in that SUV. The NYPD here, as they always are, and of course, a lot of people who live in this neighborhood coming over to see what's going on. Now, Mayor Adams, uh, before all of this started happening, we were working on another story because as uh, Morgan and all of us have been mentioning, a number of of the mayor's inner circle in succession, including his chief counsel, uh, the police commissioner, the school's chancellor, the health commissioner, all resigning, uh, and the, in the school chancellor's case, retiring. And all of that, this drip, 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 seemed to be accelerating. But as I said, we saw the mayor today. He was also interviewed on a local news station, giving no indication that this might be coming down. I want to introduce you to the incoming chancellor, Chancellor Melissa Avelis Ramos. Mayor Adams welcoming the incoming schools chancellor. I have your back and we're going to get stuff done. Yeah. Melissa Aviles Ramos will take over after Chancellor David Banks retires at the end of December. He says his departure before the end of the school year was planned and had nothing to do with the federal investigations swirling around top staffers at City Hall or the raid on his home that he shares with his partner, Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright. After 40 years, I'm tired. <laughs> And that's the God's honest truth. Banks is one of four top leaders who recently decided to leave the Adams administration, a list that includes the health commissioner, the police commissioner, and the mayor's chief counsel. These ongoing federal probes have engulfed top-level members of the Adams team and their relatives. The mayor himself had to briefly surrender his phones relating to whether his campaign took foreign donations. No one has been charged with any wrongdoing. I haven't seen a case where so many investigations are swirling around the orbit of one individual in the name of the mayor. The shakeups at City Hall attracting attention in Washington. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeting in part, I do not see how Mayor Adams can continue governing New York City, adding, for the good of the city, he should resign. Mayor Adams responded to her tweet in an interview on News 12. I don't listen to those comments that come from uh, a, you know, just basically a no-show congresswoman. The mayor is getting some support from House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. I can tell Eric Adams is working as hard as he can uh, to be the best mayor possible and meet the needs of the residents of New York City. Given what we know now, listening to Hakeem Jeffries, as far as I can tell, the language that he used uh, earlier today. Now, as we said, we have not seen Mayor Adams come out here at Gracie Mansion. We have seen a number of SUVs, typical in the ones that he usually rides in, come and go from here. But we can't say for sure whether he was in one or he is still inside here at Gracie Mansion. But I think it bears repeating. He did release a statement tonight that says, in part, if I am charged, I am innocent and I I will fight this. That part of a statement released earlier tonight. That's the very latest from Gracie Mansion. As I said, as soon as we get new information, of course, we will bring it to you. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio.